today is akshay tritiya i remember a while ago some person asked me regarding akshay tritiya itself he was a brahmin north indian and you know we the brahmins maximum things that we use in astrology now they have heard it somewhere in their family right because it is a religious community you follow religion so he asked me that sir it is believed that whatever you do on akshay tritiya that thing is never lost right akshay means non destructible tritiya is the tithi so basically it means that whatever is done on this particular tithi the good karma or the bad karma the result of the same is never lost one have to you know go through the result for multiple lifetimes now there are few things that needs to be understood now generally nowadays it is seen as something a day when you can start anything and become successful so he told sir i started a business i started a shop on akshay tritiya i am not very happy with my profession so started it with the purpose that the shop will run and i will retire from my job and will do the shop however it was fairly unsuccessful why just an inquisitive query some 4 5 6 years ago i think he asked now there are two three things about it first of all my obvious answer was that more than general muhurta personal muhurta is important based on the ashtakavarga points that different planets are getting in their respective bhinna ashtakavarga in your horoscope you have to check the muhurta primarily the significator of the event in the case of shop it is mercury sun moon and jupiter should be transiting a rashi which in their ashtakavarga bhinna ashtakavarga in horoscope have four or more than four points so personal muhurta wise if it is not good then it is not going to succeed because personal muhurta have great importance our sages have told it multiple times right but nowadays you know when you read classic the thing is everything is written but you have to think when to use what and which advice which piece of advice by the great sages have more importance and which piece of advice have less importance that's point number 1 secondarily regarding this akshay tritiya itself akshay non destructible tritiya tithi whatever punya good karma or papa bad karma is done on today's tithi the result is non destructible so this is regarding the karma basically right nowadays it is interpreted as a commercial muhurta that if you purchase a vehicle on this day it will not break down if you purchase a property on this day it will not break down but this should not be the interpretation this is more related to karmas basically right so donations worship mantra chanting etc done on these days the good results are long lasting whereas on the other hand if someone fights is called someone steals money etc on this particular day then the bad results are also long lasting so another thing that have happened nowadays is the misinterpretation of things which also leads to problem in life generally things are not understood the way it should be understood for a particular example talking of ashtakavarga thing itself it is very clearly told by many of our sages that in marriage etc whatever you say all the principles of muhurta one have to carry out all the principles of muhurta one have to apply to find a correct muhurta and after that correct muhurta one should apply the principle of personal muhurta planetary transit based on the ashtakavarga of the natal chart of the native if the muhurta is otherwise good but based on the personal muhurta it is not good things should be avoided if the personal muhurta is good normal muhurta is not good one can do the thing but this is related to small things such as investments etc only if there is something big such as marriage conception 
purchasing a home, etc. Then normal muhurta and personal muhurta both have to be good for the result to be optimum. For the result to be best, it is clearly told. And if we want to learn and get the knowledge of our sages, we should have a habit of understanding things as they are saying it. Now there is one more thing, you know, today's Akshay Tritiya is somehow very special, I will tell you. Special in one particular regard. So you see, as I told you, nowadays Akshay Tritiya is taken as a murta when one can do anything, start anything, and that will be successful. Many a times what you see that keeping such good muhurtas like Akshay Tritiya, etc. in mind, people get married or do major things which later on fails. Now this leads to why this happens. Why this failing is happening? Because we are not keeping in mind the all the principles of Muhurta, to be honest with you. See, in astrologers are very much praised, Varamir, etc. All have praised astrologers a lot. Astrologer will get emancipation, astrologer is akin to God, etc. etc. It is praised. It, they are much you know, celebrated, they are much praised. On the other hand, there is something, there is a type of person classified as Nakshatra Suchi. Nakshatra Suchi, Nakshatra basically means the stars and Suchi means the one who tells you about which Nakshatra is rising today, etc. And this Nakshatra Suchi is must criticized. Whereas it is said the society where the astrologer lives, the country where the astrologer lives, the society prospers, the king prospers. It is told that where Nakshatra Suchi lives, people of that area go to bad condition. Nakshatra Suchi is a bad person. Nakshatra Suchi should be thrown away. Nakshatra one should not talk to Nakshatra Suchis. Nakshatra Suchis are bad for themselves and for the society. And multiple such things are told. Now, if you understand, if you try to understand Nakshatra Suchi, Nakshatra Suchi is a person. Because Nakshatra means star. Suchi means who talk who talk about them. So Nakshatra Suchi is basically a person who does not know about astrology. He can just check the panchang and he, just based on the panchang, he will say today is Akshatratiya, anything you will do that will be successful. On the other hand, astrologer knows about the principle. He will know that though today is Akshatratiya, but these, these, these blemishes are there right now. So this Akshatratiya is not very auspicious. So though this is Akshatratiya, one should not venture to do new things. On the other hand, in Akshatra Suchi, because they don't know about astrology, they are not astrologers. Simply say today is Akshatratiya, you can do things. And because they don't have knowledge, they will lead to the destruction of the person who is listening to them for this particular reason. Nakshatra Suchi is highly criticized. Talked bad about Nakshatra Suchi, told and one should not be in contact with Nakshatra Suchi and all of that, etc. 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 Nowadays, what have happened? Maximum astrologers have become Nakshatra Suchi. Right? Vara, Meera, Aribhatta, and many of them have talked a lot about Nakshatra Suchis and how they should be avoided. Fake astrologers, they have called it. It seems like even in the time of Vara, here in 4th century AD, they were still there. Still. So, point that I want to make in this video, there is something known as Maud. Right? Or Astangat Dosh, Vridhattva. It is told by multiple names. Maud, Vridhattva, or in simple astrological terminology, Guru Shukrast Dosh. This is a big blemish. Guru Shukrast means, Ast means combustion. Guru Shukrast means the combustion of Jupiter and the combustion of Venus is a big blemish. In any Mahurta, the combustion of Jupiter and the combustion of Venus is a very big blemish. When Jupiter and Venus is combust, no good work. Yagyopavit, Upanayan, making a house, purchasing a vehicle, marriage, naming a child, any good thing should not be done. Combustion of Jupiter, Venus should always be avoided. Now the point is, what is the combustion degree? When Jupiter is 11 degrees away from Sun and when Venus is 8 degrees away from Sun, away means before sun also, after sun also, both inclusive. Even if the planets are in different signs, sun is in different Rashi, Jupiter is in different Rashi, either after or before, does not matter. It is degree span. 
right so 11 degrees before sun or 11 degrees after sun jupiter is combust and when jupiter is combust it will be called guru shukra sorry guru ast venus when direct is combust 8 degrees before or after sun when retrograde is combust 10 degrees before and after sun it will be called shukras and no good thing should be done at such point of time now if you see the horoscope for today what you will find that sun is there in aries 7 degrees jupiter is there in pisces 29 degrees now from 29 degrees of Pisces to the 7 degrees of Aries, the difference is of 8 to 9 degrees only. Jupiter is combust for 11 degrees. So basically right now Jupiter is combust. It will be known as Guru Ast. Guru Ast, whatever you call, in you know, whatever dialect you call. And for because Jupiter is combust, this Akshatratiya cannot be told as auspicious. And right now, at this point of time, marriage, <clears throat> jat karma chuda karan, any no auspicious thing should be done. That's the basic point. Okay. So first thing is when Jupiter and Venus is combust, good things should not be done. Now coming to the topic. Now see what it is called. If you go deeper into Mahurtas, it is called Mrit Dosh. Mrityu dosha. The affliction of dead. So basically, you see, this dead, when you when I say mrityu, when you say mrityu, one more thing comes to my mind. The avasthas, bal, vrid, yuva. Right? Bal, vrid, yuva, these avasthas, these five avasthas also come to my mind. Now about this avasthas, I have also talked before that if you go to Brihatparashar, the Balavrid avasthas are based on degrees of planets in Rashi. Right? So because these are five conditions and Rashi is 30 degree, one avastha is 5 degree. Right? Almost around 5 degrees. And in 5 degrees, the planet is taken to be a child, adolescent, young, old and dead. Based on the male sign and female sign, this is what Parashar tells you. Primarily Parashar tells it. This seems too, this seems illogical. Because Parashar also talks about Atmakarak, Dharkarak, etc. Planets with highest degrees, Atmakarak, planet with lowest degrees, Dharkarak. That I don't follow, I follow minutes. But still Parashar talks about degrees. Now according to Parashar, the planet who is Baal, child or the planet who is Mrit, dead, cannot produce result or can only produce 25% of result. Now, in this particular scenario, based on the Rashi being male or female, Atma Karak, Dar Karak and most probably Amatya Karak and Yati Karak also will be either dead or will be child where he will be ineffective to produce result. In that particular scenario, when a planet by itself is being unable to produce result, why Parashar is writing chapters on chapters Talking about the results of Atmakara, Gdarakara, and other significators, etc. So there is a contradiction. Because of this contradiction, according to me, this Balavrid, etc., Avastha condition, what Parashar is saying, according to me, is faulty, was not written by Parashar. Someone included it in Brihat Parashar Sastra later on, being unaware of the uses, maybe some Nakshatra Suchi put it. In earlier times, what used to happen, printing press, etc. was not there to people used to copy from one book to another book. Sometimes they used to write something in their footnotes from their own. And later on, if someone else copied the same text, they wrote what is what was written in footnote as the part of the main text. This way, some discrepancy crept in, in multiple of the texts. Also, another point is, see, Parashar is also belonging to the lineage of sages, right? Parashar is a rishi and the knowledge of astrology is traditional knowledge. So, of course, Parashar is learning from someone. Parashar is teaching to someone and there are many people around Parashar and this is the Vedic time. When everything is taught by, regulated by sages only, it comes from the same source. So, there can be no pelagrism. Now in astrology, as I was talking about, as per Muhurta, when Jupiter or Venus is 
combust they are called as mrit dead when the planet just comes out of when they just come out of combustion when jupiter or venus come out of combustion they are told to be bal when they are in retrogression farthest away from sun they are called to be in yuva condition so the same bal yuva vridh mrit these conditions are also calculated based on the degreeical distance from sun in muhurta now as you all know as i have always been saying in many of my videos that the invention of muhurta became first the muhurta was invented to know the time when the yagya and other spiritual duties told in the veda should be done so that was developed first after the development of muhurta prashna was developed because prashna can also be done without ascendant there is a prashna without ascendant methods also and lastly predictive astrology was developed along with prashna what you know now know as mundane astrology samhita also developed so keeping in mind the stream of development that is strictly in accordance with which system uses how many techniques etc muhurta is previous and somehow and and it looks that bal vrad avastha actually belonged to muhurta only and parashar cannot talk of another technique with the same name this is generally not done if the name of bal vrad etc is done based on one particular avastha it will not be used again in astrology because then it will lead to confusion so along with bal vrad avastha also there are multiple other avasthas as well mudit netrapani mudtadi avasthas netrapani etc avasthas and the name are altogether different right because same type of name can create confusion which should not be the case so according to me parashar cannot put it someone else have put it now leave the point come to the real bal vrad avastha so as i told you muhurta gives us a great hint regarding this now point is what i think why astrology have been into so pathetic conditions nowadays what we listen to the story of great astrologers that you know in the time of my father there was one great astrologer here there was one great astrologer there earlier this was great astrologer varamihir was a great astrologer parashar was a great... it is was great astrologer nowadays we don't find such great astrologers where the problem happened the problem was of course the invasion right english invasion and mughal invasion this happened the textbooks of astrology were destroyed people did not wanted to practice astrology the teachers who knew astrology never taught it to their students because no one wanted to learn etc etc all of these thing happened but now we are free again and why we cannot restore the glory back because now the practice of astrology is a practice of ignorance is what i believe we are not trying to dig deeper into things we are not trying to understand it rather than being jyotishis we are just confining ourselves to being astrologers only nakshatra suchis only right this should not be done according to me and at least if you follow me don't do this right see th this is a small guru dakshina that i am asking from you don't be handpacked whatever it is called kuye ke mendak matra to taking a cue from this particular fact that when jupiter and venus are combust no good thing should be done because muhurta tells you when jupiter and venus are combust they are in mrit avastha dead condition and after just after jupiter venus comes out of comes out of combustion they are in bal avastha childhood condition and when they are farthest away from sun they are in yuva avastha right and when jupiter or venus are in yuva avastha are in young stage at that point of time if you do anything marriage etc., marriage child birth etc then it will be very good then it will be very auspicious in fact parashar have also told this parashar have written a shloka uh, some some shloka like grahat purn phalam dihu suryat saptam ke sthita some shloka like this parashar have also mentioned that all the planet gives their complete result 100% result most powerful result best result when they are seven houses away from sun that is technically the maximum distance for every planet except for mercury and venus so parashar is also going in accordance with what is told in muhurta you just have to ignore this particular balvrad avastha which according to me someone else have put So BPHS needs a lot of cleaning. It is a very beautiful text, 
but a little bit of cleaning is needed. And if you and me will not do, who will do? That's also point. So coming back to the condition, according to me, the same formula should be applied to all planets. And what is Muhurta? From Muhurta develops Prashna, from Prashna develops the natal chart and the principle of astrology is same. Saturn is a malefic planet, so it remains malefic everywhere. Muhurta, Prashna, natal chart, mundane, everywhere it is a malefic. Saturn gives misery everywhere it gives misery. That's why it is a science. That's why you can say astrology is a science because the nature, character, behavior of a planet or of a technique remains the same everywhere, no matter where you use it, which way you use it. So taking cue from the same principle, what should be understood, and I have applied this, have found very good and brilliant results, hence wanted to share with you. What should be done is when any planet is combust, they are mrit. They cannot give result. The result of the planet cannot be there. Right. So because Jupiter is the karka for fortune and Venus is the karka for enjoyment, when they are dead, whatever you do, that does not bring you fortune and you cannot enjoy that thing. Hence, it should be avoided. So any planet who is combust in horoscope, enjoyment related to that planet cannot happen. After combustion, the planet goes to Baal Avastha. Baal means childhood. Two things are there. If the planet goes into Baal Avastha, the result of the planet will be 60%. Not 100%, the result of the planet will be 60%. So you say 10th Lord goes to Baal Avastha. Right? I will tell you when a planet will go into Baal Avastha. If the 10th Lord goes into Baal Avastha, the professional enjoyment will be 60%. That means to say, if you see it as a hierarchy of company, 100% result, he will be the boss. 90% result, he will be the CEO. 80% result, he will be a manager. 60% result, he will be someone who is working under manager, but managing a lots of task force. So this particular way, depending on how much good, how much prominent result is there, it talks about the result also. If the seventh Lord is in Baal Avastha, marital life is 60% happy. One can enjoy 60% happiness of marriage. 100% happiness is not there. Now in the 60%, the remaining 40% may include that child is not there. The remaining 40% may include that the health of the couple is not good. The remaining 40% may include because of their professional commitments. They are not spending time together with each other. Whatever X, Y, Z, that can be decided based on the influences of the planet. But this is first point. Secondarily, because it is Baal, what I have seen, the planet who is in Baal Avastha, generally the result of that planet is enjoyed right from childhood itself. So if somehow the seventh lord goes into Baal Avastha, one gets married quickly. In childhood itself, you say before 28 years of age. Or if the seventh lord is there in Baal Avastha, then enjoyment related to woman it starts quite early in life. After Baal Avastha comes Kishore Avastha, that is adolescence. Here the planet becomes 80% effective. The result is at the young age. Adolescence age. After that, there is Yuva Avastha, where the planet is young. Planet becomes 100% effective, very powerful. So if the planet who is producing Raj Yoga, the Lord of the 10th house, the Lord of the 9th house, the Lord of the 4th house, the Lord of the 5th house goes into Yuva Avastha, then Lord of the 10th house going into Yuva Avastha, one will enjoy great position in profession. Ninth Lord in Yuva Avastha, one will enjoy a great fortune. Fifth Lord in Yuva Avastha, one will be very intelligent. Fourth Lord in Yuva Avastha, one will have maximum happiness that one can imagine. This way the result should be seen. And because it is in Yuva Avastha, from between the age of 35 to 45, the person will start enjoying that result. After that, Brindh Avastha is there where the planet is 50% effective only. It gives 50% of result, does not give 50% of result. Vridhavastha should be considered 55 years onwards. And planet which is in Vridhavastha, the result of the planet will be after 55 years only. So you say someone is having a very strong Lagna Lord and the Lagna Lord is going into Vridhavastha. So a strong Lagna Lord should make you disease free. But because the Lagna Lord is going into Vridhavastha, the person completely remains disease free. The result of strong Lagna Lord, that is name, fame, status, prestige, owner, etc. in life will come after the age of 55 only. And before that, the person may be troubled from a lot of diseases, may not get appreciation and all of these things can happen. So this 
बाल किशोर युवा वृद्ध मृत्यु दीज फाइव अवस्था ऑल्सो डिसाइड वेन यू विल गेट दिटोम ऑफ रिजल्ट सो इट इज यूजफुल इन टाइमिंग ऑफ इवेंट वेरी वेरी यूजफुल एक्चुअली इग्नोरिंग दिस यू कैन नॉट प्रोडिक्ट एंड सेकेंडरली इट ऑल्सो टेल्स यू हाउ मच रिजल्ट विल बी देर नाउ यू से समन इज हैविंग सेवंथ लॉर्ड इन वृद्ध अवस्था now if someone is having seventh lord in vridh avastha it may mean that the person will get married in old age but because of some other principles which indicate marriage will happen early that is when the seventh house is powerful when the seventh lord is powerful marriage may happen early but the actual enjoyment of marriage the maximum enjoyment of marriage will still come in vridh avastha old age only after 55 years of age before that the maximum enjoyment that epitome of enjoyment with life partner of marriage one cannot expect right that's the very basic point so i hope you have understood it now it needs a few things first of all you should know for how many degrees the planet remains combust the planet remains ineffective right so moon remains combust for 12 degrees either side from sun before sun after sun so a total of 24 degrees mars remain combust 17 degrees mercury when direct Around fourteen degrees when retrograde, twelve degrees around sun. Venus when direct, eight degrees around sun. Ten degrees when retrograde around sun. Jupiter combust under eleven degrees from sun, and Saturn combust under fifteen degrees from sun. When a planet is combust, planet becomes ineffective. Now that does not mean combust planet is very very bad actually, right? Unlike the popular opinion, there is one particular thing that I will tell you. combust planet the rays of the combust planet is obstructed because of sun the planet is probably when you see from the earth the planet is behind the sun so the rays of the planet are not reaching you that basically means the effect of the planet cannot be there and the person cannot realize the result of planet if this combust planet is the lord of the 6th house and 8th house it is good because the bad result of these planets is not there but in the case of 8th house because 8th house also give longevity it is bad for longevity when 10th lord become combust you can say you know the result of expenditure is not there but expenditure is also very identical to income so it gives financial difficulties also on the other hand i will not say that combust planet is very very bad this point i will not say but one thing is there that i say combust planet gives humiliation So, if the seventh lord is combust, one is humiliated by life partner. If the fifth lord is combust, one is humiliated, disrespected by children. When the tenth lord is combust, one is humiliated in the profession or by seniors or by governmental officials, humiliated by them, disrespected by them. This is one thing. Another point is with combustion, what happens? Whatever is the result of planet, that result is diminished. That result is reduced. so basic point is if the 10th lord is exalted you say that indicates a great professional uh, enjoyment great professional pleasure high position in profession but it becomes combust then what will happen high position in profession etc will not be there second highest third highest position can be there right if the person even performs remedy for combustion things can become fine in that scenario one can get the highest position provided the fact that there is combination for high position but then because of combustion the result will be delayed so it is not like naturally the person will get the first position because of combustion the position will be compromised and only in old age with old age the result of combustion also diminishes a bit what i have seen with old age either the planet either the result will be there or with a lot of remedies one can enjoy the result so anything see there is nothing as bad that cannot be remedied this is not our concepts our sages were so great that they have even given remedies for increasing longevity so the hindu religion does not believe that something is you know without any upachar we do not believe into created vedas stotras mantras worship many methods our sages have tirelessly made for us because of this particular reason no they don't believe that something is very fatalistic they believe <clears throat> the thought of the rishi is that when you should understand how this will happen you should understand why this is happening and then you can remedy it so you should never leave hope you are the children of the great sages they have done a lot of work what is needed is you read their work you understand their work and apply it in your life 
Now, in this particular topic that I have been talking about, all the planet can be in any house from sun, but Mercury can go maximum 28 degrees away from sun only and Venus can go 48 degrees away from sun only. So while going to this table, you should remember this for all the planets I have written in 360 degree span. But for Mercury and Venus, it is 28 degree and 48 degree respectively. So the degree division that I am going to tell you for Jupiter and sorry, for Venus and Mercury, you have to calculate manually. Calculating the degree from Mercury to Sun when Mercury is behind or Sun to Mercury when Mercury is away. Venus to Sun when Sun is when Venus is behind Sun or Sun to Venus when Venus is after Sun to decide the Avastha. For other planets, you can just go simply by houses. I have made a table after a lot of calculation but have made it very simple for you. So that you people have, you people enjoy the fruits of hard work that I'm the basic point is what you have to take the position of sun, the Rashi where the sun is situated in, in your horoscope as the prime position. From there, interpretation will start. I will probably try to give you an example horoscope also. Right? I will try to talk about an example horoscope as well. Right? The position of the sun should be taken. Refer to this table. Moon, 12 degrees before or after sun is dead, combust, result is not there. After this 12 degrees from sun up to the fourth house from sun, moon remains a child. From then fifth house, sixth house, moon becomes an adolescent. Seventh house, eighth house, ninth house, moon remains young. And 10th house, 11th house, 12th house, up to the 12 degrees before sun, moon remains an adolescent. Right? Is how the result should be seen for moon and it is same for every planet. Other planets also, Mercury, Jupiter and Saturn also follow the, sorry, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn also follow the same path. So leaving the combustion degrees aside for Mars 17, for Jupiter 11 and for Saturn 15, Leaving the combustion degree aside in the same Rashi of Sun, in the second Rashi, third Rashi and fourth Rashi from Sun, Jupiter, Mars and Saturn also remains a child. Right. Fifth house and sixth house from Sun, Jupiter, Saturn, Mars becomes an adolescent. Adolescence. From seventh house, eighth house and ninth house from Sun, Jupiter, Saturn and Mars are also Young, 10th house, 11th house and 12th house from sun, leaving the last degrees of combustion before sun, Jupiter, Mars and Saturn also become old, right? So the table based on houses are useful for moon, Jupiter, Mars and Saturn. For Mercury and Venus, you have to degreeically see. So for 12 degrees Mercury will be combust 12 degrees before and after Sun when Mercury is retrograde. Except for that between 12 to 16 degrees from Sun Mercury will be a child 16 to 20 degrees from Sun Mercury will be adolescent 20 to 24 degrees from Sun Mercury will be young and 24 to 28 degree from Sun Mercury will be old from Sun when Mercury is after Sun. And when Mercury is before Sun, then you have to take the degree of Mercury as the base degree and degree of Sun as the calculating degree. So when Mercury is behind Sun, right, then Sun being 24 to 28 degrees away from Mercury is an old Mercury. Sun between 20 to 24 degrees away from Mercury is a young Mercury. Sun between 16 to 20 degrees away from Mercury is an adolescent Mercury. Sun being 12 to 16 degree away from Mercury is a child Mercury and Sun being 12 degree away from Mercury is a dead Mercury. 
for venus from 8 degrees to 18 degrees from sun venus is child 18 to 28 degrees venus is adolescent 28 degrees to 38 degrees venus is young and 38 degrees to 48 degrees venus is old right so depending on it is direct or retrograde you have to calculate from sun to venus or from venus to sun either way based on this the condition of the planet will be found out and based on this condition interpretation should be done interpretation should be given now let's take an example also now you see first of all let's talk about all the planets sun is in the 10th house moon is in 8th house from sun this is young moon so full 100% result of moon will be there moon is the lord of 4th house 10th lord of 10th house in 5th house what does this give this give position to the person high position this is the result 5th lord in the 10th house or 10th lord in the 5th house high position is the result and because moon is giving 100% result person will have high position in his life for sure such techniques no see i will tell you the secret of astrology what i have understood in all of these years of my experience planet in rashi planet in house one house lord in different house this makes the basic prediction like 10th lord in the 5th house one will enjoy position is a basic prediction now techniques such as this and other techniques techniques such as this balavrudh avastha etc and other techniques atmakarak etc 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 these techniques talk about whether the result that we have seen using the previous techniques of person enjoying position etc will actually come to pass or not <clears throat> will the result be there or not so these principles confirm that what is basically promised will come to pass or not because Tenth Lord can be in only these twelve houses, but to all over people in the world, can you say that people have only twelve conditions in their profession? No, there can be many conditions. So variation in condition of different people come because of these reasons. The variation in condition of different people should be seen with respect to these things. now according to me generally leaving the matter of marriage aside bal avastha is from 5 years of age to 20 years of age adolescence avastha is from 20 years of age to 30 years of age you say yuva avastha is from 30 years of age to 55 years of age vridh avastha is 55 years of age onwards and combustion mrit is though not an avastha but still if i have to say when the result of combust planet is there i should say 65 year onwards the result of combust planet can come so because moon is in young condition the result of 10th lord going into 5th house when enjoying great position will come between the age of 30 to 55 one secondarily because moon is there in the 5th house one should have beautiful children also moon is the karka for beauty fifth house is the house of child so beautiful children the result will be there 100% so the children will be very beautiful physically beautiful also and by their nature character behavior also they will be beautiful internal beauty external beauty both will be there and this beauty happiness because of this beauty pride because of this beauty prestige because of this beauty of children person will enjoy between the age of 30 to 55 so on and so forth the result should be told mars is in the 11th house from sun it goes into old condition it can only give 50% result so seventh lord going to eighth house which indicates bad for marriage mars is only 50% bad for marriage mars in the eighth house also indicate combination for accidents so it is 50% effective only that means some that means the person can meet with accident once in 5 years once in 4 years will not frequently meet with accident which you may otherwise predict if you don't take into consideration this result also this is second lord in 8th house expecting the second house again this should make a person very rich but because mars is in vridh avastha it will make the person 50% rich only 
So rather than saying rich, you should say that the person belongs to upper middle class. Right. Then the same principle you can apply for Jupiter also. Now, if you see Jupiter is in second house from sun, so this is in Balavastha, childhood condition. Balavastha planet is only 65 to 75% powerful. So Jupiter is only, you say, 75% powerful. Because Jupiter is 75% powerful, the result of Jupiter, 6th Lord going into 11th house, this will indicate person getting diseased. 6th Lord in 11th house, 11th Lord in 6th house makes the person diseased, gives disease. So 75% of time, because 75% result is there, 75% of time person will be afflicted by disease in his life. And because it is in Baal Avastha, Afflictions from disease, problems with disease will start from the age of 5 to 20 itself. And for the remaining time, it will be there. Right. It is also the third lord in the 11th house. So happiness and gains through brothers and siblings, brothers, sisters, both will be 75%. And this gains through siblings, one will start enjoying between the age of 5 to 20 itself. And for the remaining of lifetime, he will keep on enjoying. The result will start here. Or... He will enjoy, he will keep on enjoying the result throughout his lifetime, but this will be the time of epitome, depending on whether it is Baal, Diva or anything else. Saturn, on the other hand, if you see Saturn is situated in 7th house from Sun. 7th house from Sun, Saturn is also Yuva, Saturn is also young, so 100% result of Saturn is there. Now it is fourth lord in fourth house. Fourth lord in fourth house gives a lot of happiness and because 100% result is there, person will get a lot of happiness. It is the fifth lord in the fourth house. This makes Raja Yoga also. Person enjoys great position in life and because the Saturn is Yuva, Raja Yoga is 100% effective. Moon was also giving great position and Moon was also 100% powerful. So in this horoscope, Going by this technique, one thing I should say for sure that there is great Raji. So great professional position this person will enjoy, the great professional position this person will have in life. So this horoscope, though no matter how it may look to you, but it is very great for Raji Yoga. If I have to say what is the main thing in this horoscope, what is the best thing in the life of this person, that is Raji Yoga. Also, marriage also Mars saves by being 50% effective only. If Mars was 100% effective, then the then I should say that divorce will happen for sure. No, nothing can stop it. Now, because Mars is an old avastha, it is 50% effective only. I will tell the person that if you do proper matchmaking, if you marry in proper muhurta, if you behave properly with your wife, divorce will not happen. Right? So the change of result is happening. Now, the last thing is Venus and Mercury. Mercury is direct and direct Mercury remains combust for 8 degrees. Sun is at 27 degree. Mercury is at 11 degree. Cancer. So 11, 11 plus 10 will be 21. So of course Mercury is more than 21 degrees away from Sun. So Mercury is not combust. Now counting from Mercury, 11 plus 10 will be 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Mer Sun is 16 degree away from Mercury because Mercury is behind Sun degree. I am calculating Mercury from Sun and this is 16 degree away. 16 degree away, Mercury is also in adolescent condition. Adolescent condition that basically means the result will be there 75 to 85%. 75% to 85% result of Mercury is there. That is 9th Lord in 10th house. Raji Yoga 75 to 85% Raji Yoga is there. So the horoscope is a great Raji Yoga horoscope that you can see. 12th Lord is in 10th house. So foreign travel because of profession, international professional context, etc. will be there. And because the result is 75%, this will happen for sure. So you can also say that this person is enjoying great Raj Yoga, great position in his life. And it is very strongly indicated that the person will do job outside of India, outside of country. He will do job at international level. Right. So Raj Yoga becomes very, very strong in the horoscope. Is what we know from this particular combination.
right? This is how this helps you. You take Venus. Venus is combust under when direct eight degrees from sun. So sun is at twenty seven degree. Venus goes into next Rashi fourteen degree. So twenty seven plus three will be thirty. And Venus is fourteen degree. Fourteen plus three, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Venus is total of seventeen degrees away. In eight degree, he is combust. It is more than eight degrees away, so Venus is not combust. And between eight to eighteen degree, Venus is a child. So right now, Venus is a child. The result of child is sixty five percent only. So the result of eighth lord going into eleventh house, surprise, gain of money. Gain of money through sources one have not thought before will be sixty five percent. Sixty five percent means what? The complete wealth of the person that he is having. In that complete wealth, sixty five percent will be contributed by sudden gains and expected gains, right? Secondarily, this is the lagna lord in the eleventh house. It makes a raji yoga. The result is sixty-five percent. The person will be sixty-five percent rich if you take the society where the person is living and categorize people from the richness scale of hundred percent to zero percent. Person will be rich around. Person will be rich to the extent of sixty-five percent. This is how the result should be interpreted. I think with the example, it has become very clear. This is a very strong technique. Whenever analyzing the horoscope, I never ignore it because. This is the only technique which can give you quantity. Many a times, person will ask, "Sir, you say I will have a high position in my profession, but how much high position will I become a CEO? Will I become the boss? How much high position will be there? How great enjoyment will be there?" So when you have to quantify the result, you have to use this technique, and this technique have a very deep foundation. This is one of the oldest. You can say this is one of the oldest technique, one of the first developed technique of astrology because it. comes right from murta shastra which was developed first in astrology so the technique is very deeply rooted also very ancient also it have proper classical backing also and whenever like we say na ki bhai marital life is bad but then only saying marital life is bad is not enough see amateur astrologers new astrologers can say marital life is bad they can get away with it but as a professional you cannot so marital life is bad that means what divorce will happen or marital life will be unsatisfactory or what if the seventh lord in eighth house like bad combination is there so i will see marital life is bad if the result is 100% then marital life is very bad no enjoyment ultimately divorce will happen here marital life is bad and the result is 50% so i am saying that the marital life is not satisfactory as such but if you marry by proper match making marry in a proper muhurt and behave properly with your wife then do marital life will be is satisfactory a little bit but you people can get along and can remain in marriage and can enjoy in marriage there is no problems in that right so this technique gives you such great advantages of quantifying that you cannot ignore it and because it is very classically backed up this is a very important technique and i thought to share it with you to enhance the level of astrology that people practice